word from our sponsor. As you listen to the podcast, do you have a refreshing drink nearby? Dibble Dabble is here to help you out. We here at Harvest Christian at Dibble Dabble. But when thirsty, you can talk to JJ and purchase a drink. Ultimately, the biggest influencers don't have anything to do with their physical abilities or what they say about like, this is how I run so good and all that stuff. It's really comes down to like the spiritual things. And Yo, what up? It's JJ. And Henry. We are the hosts of Top Tales. What's up, guys? It's Top Towns here with JJ, Henry, and we got the star, Daniel Winkleman. Hey, guys, I'm Daniel Winkleman. I'm a senior at Harvest, and I run cross country and track and field, and I also play basketball. And you've been running at state since a freshman. You have crazy times like a 419 mile, 1442 three mile. Can you just tell us like what it's like to run at those state competitions and perform so well like that? Um, well, it definitely is a learning experience at the start because competing at like a state level is, you're just with such a high level of competition that you don't experience being in a small school like this. Being in 1A, we don't compete against a lot of teams in general or a lot of competition. So competing at state is pretty intense, but as you become more experienced, it's easier. And it's quite enjoyable competing at a high level and running in those big races. All right, well, as we all know, Daniel is committed to a D1 college named Lipscomb. Now, can you tell us why you picked Lipscomb? And what are some of your favorite things about the school? Yeah, so going into my college search, I didn't have really any target schools. I'm one of the first people in my family to actually like go to college. Wow. And so there, I had no previous connections, so I was really just doing my own research. And I came across Lipscomb, and they are a Christian school, but that wasn't like a plus in the beginning because I actually was really skeptical about it. I thought they were like an illegitimate Christian school. Hmm. Um, but once I visited, that that changed. But really one of the big pulls was their, their coach was great talking to him, okay. just hearing what his focuses were and what he, and how he trained his athletes, that was really good. And the fact that they're a distance focused school is awesome because I'll get to jump in with a bunch of really high level distance guys. We'll all be like focused on the same type of things and it'll be really good to have that kind of team environment. Yeah, I, I, I love the school. I love the location. The location is one of the mm. biggest things. State of Tennessee is great. Tennessee. Yeah. Nashville is great. The city itself is, it's not as dirty as like in Chicago, mm-hmm. but also the specific location of the school is just outside of the city in kind of like a quiet neighborhood. So you can experience that like quiet feel and also the city feel at the same time. So that was that was another really big thing. All right. Dude, that's sweet. Yeah, you get to like go down the city. You got a lot of... Yeah, there's a lot nice of opportunities things. down there also. Yeah, that's awesome. According to NHS.us, NHS is an organization that helps students with scholarships, leadership, service, and character. All right, Daniel, and yeah, you're more than just an athlete. You really excel in school. You're in the National Honor Society, which says here you've won the award of service, service honor award in 22, and the service merit award in 21, and you served 90 hours of service. Can you just <laughs> tell like why you did NHS and like how it's helped? That's kind of funny that you guys know that stuff. <laughs> yeah, we looked it up, we found it. Um, well, The idea of National Honor Society isn't about the merit, really. It's about serving. And so that 90 hours, a lot of it comes from the desire to help other people, you know, take the focus off of yourself and put it towards other people. Um, That that is the primary, like, focus of the National Honor Society. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and your vice president. That's great. All right. As a talented runner that finishes in high positions in races, you've had people like interview you, 
And can you just tell us what that's about? Carson Vittorio is the IHSA reporter that interviewed Daniel Winkleman after the cross country sectional race. Stuff yeah, like so that. a lot of the times they just ask me about what was the game plan coming in? How's your training been going? Mm -hmm. So it, it gives a chance for you to talk about how the race went obviously and also like give whoever's watching like a picture of what your training is like and what your mindset is like and they're really not all that that fancy but yeah. it, it does give you an opportunity to say something which is cool and it gives you an opportunity to be seen so that that's those are good opportunities to take advantage of you ever get nervous doing those? No, I don't get nervous because it's coming right off of a race and like immediately after a race and my mind is like thinking about the race and if they're interviewing you then you probably have had a good race so I'm just excited about the race and I'm excited to talk about it. Alright. Nice. So, I mean, obviously you're really good at running. You have like a main influence that would, that like helps you get through each running session. You know, really, running is a lot about battling against yourself in your own mind. And I love running in general. I do love it. But of course, it's difficult. And it's difficult all the time. Uh -huh. And in practices, there's a certain confidence that I've gained through experience where if my coach is giving me this workout, then he believes that I'll be able to complete it. And so going into any workout, I always have the confidence that no matter how I feel, I'll be able to complete this workout. And though that doesn't always necessarily carry over to the races, going into those workouts, I've just built that confidence over time. And it's, it's really crucial in those last couple of reps um, to have that confidence that you can do it. Yeah, for sure. Dude, it's awesome. Like you believe you can do it like what the coach says, but is there anyone like influencer wise that you look up to? named Louis Zamperini. Now, I don't know if you guys know his story, but his story is laid out in the book, and it's also a movie now called Unbroken. He was a high school, famous high school runner, famous collegiate runner, and then he also even went to the Olympics. And he was a distance guy, and he has a really great story. But the most important part of his story is in relation to him going into the war World War II, he got stranded at sea, and it's his story of survival and being a prisoner of war and how he came to Christ, and so that's wow. really inspiring because ultimately the biggest influencers don't have anything to do with their physical abilities or what they say about like, this is how I run so good and all that stuff. It's really comes down to like the spiritual things and how the Lord is their strength and how the Lord is like, the only thing that really matters and when you have that down and you know that then you really can run with true purpose and that's that's where the the influence comes from amen just a reminder jj has the most refreshing drinks in the building so about to get that dibble dabble dude well thanks for being on the podcast you killed it and good luck to you and lipscomb and the rest of your high school career catch y'all later Peace. Peace.